Revolutionizing corn breeding. Gene editing inside the plant. Corn is a cornerstone of agriculture, vital to food systems across the globe. Yet improving corn varieties through traditional breeding is a slow, labor-intensive process and can take years to achieve the desired combination of traits like drought resistance, disease tolerance, or high yields. Now, a groundbreaking innovation from Dr. John Reinders and his team at Corteva AgriScience offers a faster, safer, and more precise alternative editing corn genes directly inside the plant itself. This cutting-edge technique bypasses many of the bottlenecks of conventional breeding by combining gene editing with a powerful shortcut known as the doubled haploid method. In traditional doubled haploid breeding, haploid cells, which carry only half of a plant's genetic material, are used to generate completely uniform offspring. However, because these plants are sterile, scientists must double their chromosomes to make them fertile, using a toxic chemical called colchicine. The entire process also relies on growing plant embryos, which is time-consuming and expensive. Dr. Reinders and colleagues have developed a revolutionary approach that takes this process out of the lab and into the plant itself. Using a technique to edit genes within the living plant allows corn to initiate embryo development, undergo precise genetic edits, and restore its fertility without external chemicals. The innovation hinges on two important genes, Baby Boom and Cyclin D2. Baby Boom allows an unfertilized egg to develop into an embryo. Cyclin D2 promotes cell division, enabling the embryo to double its chromosomes. Together, these genes allow the plant to generate a fertile, genetically stable offspring. The researchers also included the CRISPR-Cas system to precisely edit specific genes during embryo development. In trials, the results were striking. One experimental group achieved a 95% success rate in gene editing. Some plants even produced seeds without any chemical assistance, a major leap forward. Notably, a modified version of the baby boom gene unexpectedly improved fertility restoration. This technique doesn't just speed up the breeding process, it also lowers costs, reduces environmental risk, and allows for the precise targeting of traits. It holds promise not only for corn, but for other staple crops like wheat, rice, and barley. That could mean better performing crops, reduced reliance on pesticides, and increased food security in the face of climate change. Challenges remain, including understanding unpredictable genetic interactions and navigating evolving regulatory landscapes. Public acceptance of gene-edited crops is also a key factor. But with clear benefits and responsible science, this technology could reshape agriculture as we know it. Thank you.